fungus midway. It's back at you again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that seems like a pretty standard samurai name. Yeah, yeah. fungus midway. Fungus midway. Yeah. I mean, they attacked midway. Battle <laughs> yeah. at midway. So they they know all about it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Samurai. <laughs> let's oh. go say hi to a ballista. Welcome back. The chin strap chaps. Welcome back. It's been an indeterminate amount of time since the last one. You could this could be the same session as the last one. You don't know. Yeah, you don't fucking know. Hey. None of that. It's four in the morning right now. Um We've been playing for hours. We've been playing and just grinding for hours. Bill, we've actually already beaten the game, but we forgot to hit record, so Yeah, so we're redoing we're redoing a bunch of stuff right now. So we're, oh. what are we doing? Oh. Where are we even at? Oh, oh Jesus, yes. you're dying. You're dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to go to the Weeping Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Go get us some... Uh, <clears throat> strange uh, gash. <laughs> strange gash. <laughs> He's going to go talk to some old guy and get some strange gash from him. It's the turtle. It's the giant turtle. No, no, that's, that's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves the dog. Why does everyone call the turtles dogs? I don't get it. I don't. Know. Right, thank you. They have a thing in the messages that says turtles, right? Yeah. I mean, why don't yeah? Don't People just like calling them dogs. That's one of those things that like the developers could not have planned for, you know? Yeah. Just the cult following of dog. Yeah. But yeah, everyone likes Muriel. Unless you kill Muriel. Then you're a bad person. Yeah, doesn't it doesn't it like summon like a red guy, like a phantom? Yeah, a bell bearing guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have not played this game in a bit, so I don't remember most things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with this game in particular, like of the FromSoft games, because it's like, you know, a lot of the more recent ones like um I feel like I like sat and played through them like all the way like without really taking extended breaks maybe I did I don't remember but um I don't know this one I just I'm taking a big break from it I don't know why I played you it know, for a I good, did too I yeah. think it was just that there was so much yeah there's so much stuff in it oh yeah. my fucking face like I um at least there's a stake of America there if you die yeah. again um there's also yeah. a bonfire over here yeah so I don't know man um, it's a site of grace, Billy. It's not a bonfire. Yeah, bonfire, site of grace. You know, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I played like a good 60 hours of the game, and then I'm just like, all right, I'm going to just take a break for a while. I forgot what else. I, I played. started playing something else. I think I played... <clears throat> oh, I think I played Dragon's Dogma again. Because <laughs> I'm a loser, and I love, I'm a simp for Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Dragman, drag, Dragman's Dogma 2 at some point. Yeah, they announced it officially, which is uh, very exciting. I, I um, it was a very underhanded announcement. I don't know if you ever if you saw it. No. Um, so what they did is like the director of the game, of the original game. I forgot what his name is. I think it's uh, like, Shideku Miyamura. I don't remember. Something. I forgot his name. Doesn't matter. But the director of the game. Mm. Um, like Capcom was having like their like you know because a lot of uh, companies nowadays are not really participating in E3 because it costs too much money yep. and they can get the exact same type of exposure if they have their own type of like you know showcase during the summer or whatever which um, I know Nintendo's been doing for a long time but um, I think Capcom did something like that recently like in the summertime there's a dog <laughs> Billy come on <laughs> I like petting the dogs but um but this year was uh, the 10 year anniversary of uh, Dragon's Dogma's, like, you know, first release. Dragon's Smegma. Dragon's like Smegma first release of 20, it was in 2012 that it first came out. So they, they had like their showcase or whatever. And then they're like, all right, the director's going to announce something for Dragon's Dogma 10th anniversary. And then like everybody was like all hyped up thinking that he was going <laughs> to announce the sequel. But then he's, but then they're like, all right, so next week we're going to show a video celebrating the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. And everybody's like, what? Ooh. Like, you just announced a video? Like, what are you talking about? A yeah. video? So then 
next week rolls around and they show the video and it's just that it's like a very short little like not like not even like a 10 minute thing of them just like you know um um like talking a little bit about some of the elements of the original game and like kind of like developing it and then just at the end like unceremoniously at the end it's oh, just yeah, the Dragon three guys and they're all like thank you for giving us 10 years of dragon's dogma but we have a special announcement and then they all rip their like you know vests off and then it had, they all have dragon's dogma 2 shirts on they're like dragon's dogma 2 is a development and then there's like i don't remember if there's like even like a big climactic like music sting or anything <laughs> after he that. says it it's just that and then they're like, thank you very much for the support, and we hope to blah, 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 like, whatever. And then that's it. <laughs> it was, like, the most, like, underhanded, like, ow, ow. fucking announcement for, like, a game stop. that, like, a lot of people have been, like, waiting and begging for for literally ten years. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I just want to live. But I'm but I'm happy that they finally announced it because like you know I'm I kind of reserved my excitement just because I'm like it, God knows how long it's going to take them to to develop and release that game but um, when it comes out like it's pro it's for me it's going to be the Elden Ring killer uh, <laughs> yeah for you <laughs> for me <laughs> I made it so you guys have to give up I know it's probably said you're not going to talk to what's her, what's her dick over there. I guess I can talk to her dad. I know it's probably sacrilegious for me to say this, or like very hot take, but I would probably play her pick. I think Dragon Saga might like more than Elden Ring. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It might be good. It's like not even... I, I feel like it's hard to compare the two, but like, I don't know. I just, I have a soft spot for Dragon's Dogma. It's just me. It's just me. I get that. I can understand that. I feel like Elden Ring is probably like the more advanced game in terms of how it was developed and whatnot, but, like, I don't know. Who Very knows? Started. Maybe them really fucking, you know, ply on their trade. Because, I mean, when Elden Ring came out, now you have to, like, get be a better than it. Because they're obviously going to be, okay, Guts. I wish I could be Guts. Because, like, they're obviously going to, uh... Patch in shit that makes it harder. I was going to say try and, you know, what? Compete. I'm sorry, we don't have another stand for the microphone. There's a surface that's giant. Yeah, and then it's going to be obstructing our view. Oh, where's my butt then goes? I don't know. On the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, that's my nice go get the Go get the heavy quilt blanket and lay on that. <laughs> some pillows. <You're> generous. <laughs> and some pillows. What, you want me to buy you an air mattress to lay in here? Yes. All right. Actually, it's full size mattress. Oh, well, my mom had some, and then we gave them away. So. No, I don't. I don't want an air mattress. Why not? Full size, real mattress. That would take up this entire room. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> I don't have a studio. Still no message. Well, yeah, of course. Oh man, you like the smell of Billy's bum. <laughs> she just thinks I'm not paying attention to her. That's exactly it. So she can get away with it. All right, come here, doggy. Yeah, she's gone. Bye. Have fun. Bye. I love you. Make your choices. Don't you okay. jump up on that camera. Oh, she wants to. She, she wants to. Look at Lonzo's and tell me what, and like, figure out what you want for later. Look at Lonzo's? Yeah, figure out what you want. Okay. All right, new weapon. Are you going to order it by a telephone? Every time we get a weapon that we can wield to? If I uh, can't order it via internet, then yes. Okay. That's the, that's the challenge, Taylor. Every time we get a new weapon, that's the weapon we have to switch to as long as we can wield it. Okay. And then if you don't, if you can't wield it, then what do you, you do? You, you can just, stay. No, I should pick a... I, I got a D20 roller on my phone. We'll roll a D20. Okay, that and, works. And then I'll pick, we have to just scroll around 20 times. Ooh. 20, but so like you can do your button presses sequentially. You gotta parse them out. So if you get a 20, you just gotta move the cursor 20 times. I don't fucking know, I'm just making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are very um, berserk-esque looking enemies. Yeah. Um, they remind me of a lot of monsters from Berserk. Speaking of Berserk, um, they actually said, I think, uh, recently that, like, because you know that the original writer 
uh, like the main dude, like he passed away, I think last year or the year before, or something yeah. like that. Um, I I was late to that news because I didn't oh, I didn't actively consume <coughs> Berserk until like this year. <laughs> um, yeah. Or last year, maybe whatever. Yeah, that that bitch passed away at some point. Yeah, but like um, the the thing of it is, is that they, um, you know, the, the the story was incomplete. It wasn't finished, and it, it like leaves on like like a big, kind of like a big enough cliffhanger sort of thing, right? And then like um, the studio, like I think recently announced that they're going to continue the story and try to finish it. But it's just going to be like interesting to see how they approach that because it's like they don't have the the guidance or the insight of the original writer. Yeah. So you know, will it become shit? Will they do their best? Probably. I don't know. I feel like if he had like at least a rough outline of what the story was supposed to culminate in, that they could at least make it kind of work. But I I don't know. That's the one thing I always get really like um, antsy in your pants. Here. Oh, I get like worried about when you find out that there's one person who's been writing the whole fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... And then if, it's not. Yeah, like, if this person dies or something happens to this person, then, like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> like, hopefully he has a napkin somewhere with all of his notes <laughs> written on it of, like, what is meant to happen in the story. Really, just use your fucking... Just use your Uchi Katana. Let's, let's get the shit... Let's get it on the road here, you know? But Taylor, the... The, the, why are you instituting the challenge the midway through yeah. our episode here? Yeah. Challenge <laughs> midway through episode. <laughs> that should be the challenge right there, is midway through an episode we have to come up with a new challenge every time. <laughs> I mean, my name is Midway. Fungus Midway. Yeah. <laughs> you went back to the little... Yeah, just because oh, I it, can actually no, wield it. Was it not giving you the roll? There we go. Yeah. All right, that, brass, that brass shield is pretty. Uh, it is pretty heavy. I started kind of using this build or like these weapon sets um, in my character too, a little bit. The bleed to varying degrees of success, I feel, but you know. I'm gonna fuck you up. So you're going to Castle Morn right now? Yeah, I'm gonna go get the Game of Thrones sword. What? The Game of Thrones sword. I don't know what that one is. It's the grafted blade. Because it's made of many swords. Uh, oh. Get it? Because it's... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to fuck you. Again, like, I don't remember where any of the items are or anything, so... See, this I'm glad is why that, I'm, I'm glad, the... Yeah, I'm glad that you know what you're doing. Because I'm going to play... We're going to play another game tonight, today, this morning. Um, and I know all the shit about that game. Because I just played through it recently. And I really, really liked it. And I'm like, this game would be fun to play on the show. Look at all those souls I'm gonna get. Yeah! Cool. Okay. You got your Healy Dew back. Okay, the only one left to fight is this big bitch. Just leave him. He ain't, he ain't hurting anybody. Yeah, but he's he's a big bitch. You gonna summon anybody? No, why would I summon? He's just a troll. You don't need like, uh, trolls. I mean, like the ashes or whatever. Oh, he just like taking a nap. One thing I really would like them to do in a future um, FromSoft game is like enemies like this. Like they're cool to find and they're cool to fight. Mm -hmm. But I want to do. I want them to do something more than just like you slashing at their ankles the whole time. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like make me climb it or something. Like that's why. That's why I think you know. Give me some shadow of the colossus. No shadow of the colossus, but like also like you know I know I talk about it a lot, but Dragon's Dogma you could scale enemies in that game, and it's like, you know I feel like there's in, in Dragon's Dogma's case there's certainly some room for improvement. There might be some more actions available to you when you climb, but like I think. I feel like that's something that FromSoft needs to like examine for a, f a next game in the franchise, just because, or like you know, their Souls-like games, because they've been doing it since the like the original games that like you know you fight these enormous enemies, but then you're just like 
slashing at their ankles or their wing or their hand the entire time. Yeah, it doesn't make it feel epic. No. It's like, you know, there are certain enemies where it's, like, you know, there's spectacle and, like, how it's animated and stuff. Like, Ricard, like, was that a lot like that in this game for me. Yeah. Like, just, like, watching that fight is really cool, but, like, it's not a hard fight, but... Um, or, like, even fighting the dragons. Like, they're super well animated and shit, but it's, like... I wish that you could do more than just, like, if you're a melee build class anyway, just sl swipe at their foot until they die. Like, yeah. It's just kind of, I don't know, it takes me back to, like, getting the Drake Sword in the original Dark Souls, where you're just pegging away at this fucker's health with arrows until it drops the sword, and it's like, okay, it's really, really stupid, but whatever. Buy or sell, I'm gonna sell your face. What are you buying? What are you selling? And I think good. the um, I feel like our armor is pretty good for now. I yeah, don't, I don't feel like fine. we need any armor. Give me that. Uh, <coughs> I like that system. Like you don't have to use the runes in order to get them. You could sell them. It is the same type of deal. Uh, that works. Oh yeah, I forgot we had that <laughs> flame drake thing. Yeah. Land of the Reeds, huh? You can get an upgraded set later. Yeah. It's Land of the White Reeds, I think. Land of the Lou Reeds. Now, now we can use this shield. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> uh, yep. Welcome for that one. Very timely reference. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be Nightfall? <laughs> Well, one, it's more cinematic. Two, I'm gonna fuck this. Oh, you're gonna fight Night the Knights Cavalry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really, I'm, not, I'm letting you take the reins today because I'm I'm not playing this today. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I got stuck in a fucking animation to hit him. I do like this. Like the 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 addition of like the horse mounted combat, I think is cool. Oh, oh my, my god. god! He fucking wrecked you, dude. Holy shit! Turns out wasn't ready. Good thing is the fight's right here. <laughs> yeah, I can just do it again. No, because now it's daytime. I don't feel like waiting. Oh yeah, and we have. Isn't there a giant that shoots arrows at you up here? They're pretty easy to dodge, I think. Yeah. Unless I'm thinking of another castle. No, I think there's a giant. There's a golem out in the front yeah, of the yeah, castle so that shoots arrows at you. Yeah. There's always a part like this. Oh, you can get the map too. Get the map. Get the map. Get the motherfucking the map. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> okay. On, let me. Oh, that's right. Cause I'm in fight now. Hold on. Let me step back so I can look at the fucking map. So Billy, did you did you splurge on games for Steam uh, Steam Summer Sale? I bought like three. Which games did you buy? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I bought eight. Game. I bought eight games, I believe, maybe nine. I don't know. I bought the entire Dead Rising franchise. One, two. There's another game of Dead Rising Two called Off the Record. Th uh, Dead Rising Three, Dead Rising Four. So that's five games right there. I bought Lost Planet 1, because they, for some reason, re-added re that to the Steam store. Okay. Lost Planet 3. I mean, Lost Planet 1 was literally two ninety nine Canadian, so they were practically giving that game away. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Lost Planet 3 I got on PC. I don't know why, but I guess if we wanted to play that game, we could play it on PC instead of PS3, which is good. And then I bought Helldivers, because I'm like, I love that game, and I got it on PC so I can play it online with people without having to get PlayStation Plus. Oh, nice. But it does suck going back to level one yeah. after uh, grinding out levels again in that game. So I bought eight eight games, and I and like that was not even for the price of like one full priced game, <laughs> which is great. So Steam Summer Sale for the win. Everybody. Did we kill Godric or Godric? No, I think we skipped him. No, we did not. We did fight Margit. Yeah, we did Margit, but we have not gone through the castle yet. Okay. Yeah, we haven't gone through Stormvale yet. I'll come back here later. 
I'm gonna go give myself some sacred tears. Sacred tears. No way I can cry. Yeah. It's like a like a, like a Dragon Force song. Sacred tears. Yeah. So I can cry. So far away. <laughs> so far away. The whole time in the background, just like a, a constant buzz. <laughs> just like, like a high schooler guitar tone where they just crank the fucking treble all the way up <laughs> and nothing else. So it's just. <laughs> this sounds awesome. It's so fucking heavy, dude. We <laughs> want nothing but just his. <laughs> They turn mid and bass all the way down, treble all the way yeah. up. You gain of, distortion all the way up. The bass player would only have bass. <laughs> I'd be like, well, i got to carve out my space in the mix, so I'm just going to have nothing but high end. <laughs> and then the bass player's like, you know what, that's a good idea, I should put nothing but low end. <laughs> and, then, and then they play, and then just like the bass drowns out everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing some uh, ever since Stranger Things 4 happened there's been a ton of people playing Master of Puppets at their high school talent shows yeah of course and it's like it's a fucking hard song man <laughs> like <laughs> Master Master like kudos to these high school kids like trying to play master. but like it's a hard song to play so <laughs> like and then there was one video of, like, right as the solo begins, the dude starts ripping it, but then, like, <laughs> he's in high school and he doesn't know any better. Like, normally, like, normally what you should do when you plug in your guitar is you, like, run the cable through the strap and then plug it in, so that way if you step on it, it's not going to unplug your guitar. Yeah. This kid doesn't, doesn't know that. So as soon as the solo starts, he fucking accidentally steps on the cable and yanks the cable out. And then, like, the solo's happening, and all you hear is, like, bass guitar and drums. <laughs> and, like, he has no idea what's happening, because he yeah. probably can't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, like... Everyone's... You see, you see the stage tech kid come to look at the, the tiny Line 6 spider amp that they're playing from. <laughs> and he's tweaking, tweaking it, and they're like, oh, you're a plug He's like, oh, no! <laughs> ben there. Done that. Me too. Hundred <laughs> percent. Always happens. You know what I'm saying, my dude? <laughs> yeah. All the times I have played the bass guitar on You did it twice, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, on, on the stage. I'm I just pulled saying. my chord every time. I'm just saying. Everybody, everybody who's been in a high school band has done that. <clears throat> Whether or not it's on stage or just in the basement where you're practicing, yeah. it's happened. You learn. You watch. You learn. You learn to watch. You watch how you learn. Do you even still have your bass? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you do? Yeah, I still got it. It's just chilling in the basement. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. It's there if you ever want it. Yeah, I sold all my guitars. <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> what are these? Thanks, bro. Fucking people. Ooh. Amboista. Are you just trying to find sacred tears right now? Is that what you're doing? Uh, I know where they are, but oh, you're just kind of looking around and oh, doing okay. other things. So I don't remember everything. And oh, you're dead. This is death. <laughs> this is how I die. Yep. Oh, I killed someone on my way. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it was just torn. <laughs> Next time on Chips or Chips, Billy doesn't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>